Hi brothers and sisters. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, lambda expression. Lambda expression is uh, one of the new feature in Java 8. We will talk about uh, in this video uh, like um, what is lambda expression, how, what is the use of that and uh, how to implement. We will see some practical demonstration for lambda expression. End of this video, definitely you will have a better understanding about lambda expression. Okay. What is lambda expression? Using lambda expression, we can enable functional programming in Java 8. Uh, till Java 7, we cannot write a functional programming. Java 8 introduced a functional programming. If we want to implement functional programming, we need to use a lambda expression. Through lambda expression, we can write a functional programming in Java 8. Lambda expression is an anonymous function. Lambda express, expression is an anonymous function, which means it is a nameless function. Nameless function. If you want to write a function, what you will do? You will give a uh, return type, a modifier, function name, and a parameter. Everything you have, you have to declare. And then uh, you need to uh, write some implementation in your function, in your body of the function. This is the way of writing a function. But in the case of lambda expression, you don't have to mention modifiers. You don't have to mention return type. You don't have to mention method name. Without giving this information, you can implement a function using lambda expression. This is the magic of lambda expression. You may think how it is possible. When I show one practical demonstration, definitely you will get understand that, understand that it is possible. Lambda expression provides concise way of writing a program. Using lambda expression, we can short our program, shorten our program. That is, uh, we can eliminate a lot of boilerplate code. Unwanted code we can el eliminate using lambda expression. Lambda expression is a, a set of program, it is a functional programming. That set of program we can assign to one variable we can assign to one variable through that variable we can execute a lambda expression what is that variable that variable type should be functional interface type that variable type should be functional interface type using functional interface we can execute a lambda expression java 8 introduced a new interface type called functional interface Using functional interface, we can execute our lambda expression. This is the sum of the information about lambda expression. Now, we will going to see practical implementation of lambda expression. I have a project called Java Core. There is, one, uh, there is some packages available. I will going to create a new package. New package. Package Lambda LAM Lambda. Before going to implement the Lambda expression, I will going to show how to implement a interface method in a regular way. Okay, now I will going to create a one method called uh, sorry, one interface called display. Yeah. Interface display here wide show. In this interface, I declared one method. This is called a show show method. Now I want to provide implementation of this display method. New class display int. For that, I need to use implements keyword to implement a display interface. Now, in this class, I need to override a method. In this method, I am going to give one simple implementation. This is from regular method implementation 
okay i want to invoke this display display equal to new display mpl now i am able to execute this method this is from regular method implementation okay this is a, uh, normally we will do right everybody should know this now i'll going to provide implementation of display method sorry show method using lambda expression for that i'll going to create a new class display lambda inside this class display display equal to In the case of lambda expression, I have given a implementation of show method in a single line. I never created a new implementation class. I never created a new implementation class in the case of lambda expression. This implementation class itself not required if you are going to use lambda expression. How it's happening? What's happening in the behind the scene? I will going to explain here. If you want to. create if you want uh, write a program using lambda expression you need a functional interface you need a functional interface java provides a new interface type called functional interface using functional interface you can execute a lambda expression in our case display is a interface this interface act as a functional interface how i am saying this display interface a functional interface according to java 8 if any interface contains only one method declaration that interface act as a functional interface that interface we can use to execute our lambda expression this is my lambda expression implementation whenever write a lambda expression this lambda expression should match should match with functional interface method signature what whatever method signature is exist here that method signature should match here now we will going to explore how java compiler matching signature of lambda expression with signature of functional interface method in our case display is a functional interface show is show is a abstract method java compiler compares show method signature with our lambda expression signature in in our lambda expression signature you can see there is a there are two operator hyphen and a arrow symbol this hyphen and a greater than symbol this is a arrow symbol left hand side of the arrow symbol we need to mention we need to mention parameters of particular parameters of particular lambda expression in our case i have given empty parenthesis in our case i have given empty parenthesis when i look at display show method show method is having a empty parenthesis so i have given empty parenthesis left hand side of the lambda expression left hand side of the lambda expression we need to provide parameters that required for a particular functional interface method in our case show method does not have any parameter the i mean show method does not expecting any parameter so i am passing only empty parenthesis right hand side of the lambda expression right hand side of the lambda expression we need to provide method implementation we need to provide method implementation here i have given a simple method implementation called system dot out dot printl and this is from lambda expression 
in our show method does not return any value just i am providing wide in our function implement a lambda expression implementation does not return any value just it has only one print statement it's not returning any value return statement also matching with show method so this lambda expression does not have any parameter show method does not have any parameter and the show method does not return any value our lambda expression method implementation does not return any value both are matching this show method signature our lambda expression both are exactly matching that is the reason java compiler happily accept this code to our functional interface variable in the theoretical explanation part i already told lambda expresses the set of code that set of code itself we can assign to particular variable that variable type should be functional interface type variable since the show method signature and the lambda method implementation signature matches exactly java compiler happily accept this code to functional interface object variable using this object variable i am able to call this lambda expression by calling show method whenever you call show method this particular part get executed in this example we have seen without parameter without return type only method implementation in next example we will going to see how to implement a lambda expression using parameters with return type now i'll going to execute this program this is from lambda expression we can use here braces also if we want to use braces we can write a more than one line of code if we going to use more than one line of code we need to use braces that is a mandatory if we going to use in single line code we don't have to use braces two lines of code get, get executing this entire statement is a lambda expression this entire statement assigned to our functional interface variable through functional interface variable i am calling a show method whenever call show method this statement get executed now we'll going to see how to pass return type and the parameters i'm going to change integer type when you when you change integer type immediately your java compiler returns error here this method must return a result type int this method must return a result type int since here i am see um, since i am not returning any value here my method implementation does not have any return value any return type any return type this gives this kind of error okay hmm? i am going to return something now return 30 the error is gone now uh, this lambda expression having a return type display method is having a return type so both are matching our java compiler happily accept this statement if you going to uh, invoke the show method int result equal to this execute 30 correct this execute 30 now i'll going to pass parameter now int a comma b again java compiler says that some error what is that error lambda expression signature does not match the signature of the functional interface method show that is 
your lambda expression parameter does not have anything it's a empty parameter but functional interface show method having a two parameter both are not matching Though both are not matching that is the reason compiler gives the error hey, I, uh, compiler is saying i cannot assign this expression to your display variable because your show method having a two parameter but your lambda expression you are not passing any parameter you are passing only empty parameter how can i assign so we need to pass two variable two parameter in the empty parenthesis i am passing a comma uh, int a comma int b int a comma int b now i am saying here a plus b i am saying here a plus b then Whenever called your show method, you need to pass some value 30 comma 20. 30 comma 20. Now what will happen? I am calling 30 comma 20. This will execute this particular code. A is having a 30, B is having a 20. Both are added. That total value get returned to the itself variable. Whenever in invoke this program, what will happen? This two, two statement get printed, then I am returning a a plus b, the total value get displaying here. Here, you, here, here I am passing int, int a comma int b, that is a parameter type. You, you, you don't have to mention anything here. Just you can pass a, just you can pass b. You don't have to mention type. Without mentioning type, to a Java compiler automatically recognize what is the type of show method. Since you are passing, since you are passing a integer type value, automatically recognized A and B is the integer type. In the theoretical explanation, I have mentioned that lambda expression is an anonymous function. That means it's a nameless function. We don't have to mention any name. We don't have to mention modifier. We don't have to mention return type. When you look at this implementation, I am not men mentioning any method name. I am not mentioning return type. What is the type of um, return value like uh, integer, void, and a double? I am not mentioning any return type. I am not mentioning any method name. I am not mentioning any modifier. Without defining those information, I have implemented the lambda lambda expression. I can focus only my business logic that's it uh, if you want return only return value if you want return only return value you don't have to use return keyword also you don't have to use return keyword also for example some methods need only return statement so you, i don't have to use uh, return keyword as well as braces See here. Now it's written 50, only 50. My method implementation is only adding two numbers, a plus b, that total value returning to my functional interface variable through show method. I am invoking this particular statement. This particular statement. If you if you if you're not mentioning return type, you don't have to mention braces. Okay, if you're going to ret mention return type, you must use the braces. Again, same thing. Okay. I hope uh, you people understand about uh, what is lambda expression, how to um, implement a lambda expression, how to invoke a lambda expression, what is the use of functional interface. In next video, we will going to talk more about the functional interface. There are another way to create a functional interface. Uh, we will going to see in next video about that. Until then, bye bye from Suresh Keshavan.